we send Stinger missiles over to them so they can defend themselves better. But remember that Zelensky is a thug. Remember that the Ukrainian government is incredibly corrupt and it is incredibly evil and it has been pushing woke ideologies and it really there's the new woke world. Congressman Madison Cawthorn starts controversy with remarks denouncing Ukraine's president and government. The video was reportedly taken Sunday at an event in Asheville, and it's now sweeping across social media. News 13's Samir Nefsi is live with the very latest from the congressman. And Samir, many Republicans are saying they are not in support of Congressman Cawthorn's statements. Yeah, Holly, the freshman congressman's comments facing major backlash over the Internet, of course, today, uh, throughout the day, actually facing a lot of backlash as well from GOP members online. In the video, the congressman calling Ukraine President Zelensky a thug, saying the Ukrainian government is corrupt and incredibly evil. He actually just arrived here at the Polk County GOP headquarters. I yelled across the street because he actually denied us entrance into the event today, and I asked him if he had a comment, and he just continued to wheel in. But go ahead and take a look at this video again so they can defend themselves better. But remember that Zelensky is a thug. Remember that the Ukrainian government is incredibly corrupt and it is incredibly evil and it has been pushing woke ideologies and it really there's the new woke world. Today, Cawthorn posting on Twitter stating that, quote, propaganda is being used to entice America into yet another war. Further writing, quote, I do not want Americans dying because emotions pushed us into a conflict. Now, we reached out to Cawthorn's campaign for a comment, and they sent us this statement. You can see it on your screen. The congressman was expressing his displeasure at how foreign leaders, including Zelensky, had recently used false propaganda to entice America into becoming involved in an overseas conflict. He supports Ukraine and the Ukrainian president's efforts to defend their country against Russian aggression, but does not want America drawn into another conflict through emotional manipulation, end quote. We pressed Cawthorn's team about the propaganda Cawthorn is referring to. A spokesperson cited the blog Contra, which posted a far right wing article that claims uh, Ukrainian leaders have pushed propaganda about the war to create emotional backing for the people of Ukraine. I spoke to North Carolina Senator Chuck Edwards, who's running against Cawthorn for the District 11 congressional seat. He says this does not reflect the words of many Americans. I believe that uh, all citizens, most citizens in North Carolina are fully in support of uh, Ukraine right now and are, are standing with them with our prayers and with our moral support just say that I disagreed with uh, what he said. Ukraine is an ally. And that's why just yesterday on the Senate floor, I sponsored a senatorial statement in full support of the people of Ukraine. Cawthorn's comments come as the North Carolina House approved a resolution expressing support for Ukraine and its people while urging Congress to increase domestic production. As I mentioned, we did try to go into this event earlier today. We're here at the Polk County GOP headquarters. Uh, the campaign uh, told the GOP president that they did not want media in attendance, which is why we are outside. I had a chance to speak to some of the constituents attending the meeting today, and uh, one actually said she supports Cawthorn's comments, while another says he doesn't. Of course, we'll have much more on that in our later newscast. For now, live in Polk County, Samir FC News 13. And as we mentioned, there has been a lot of reaction to Congressman Madison Cawthorn's remarks. 11th District Republican candidate Michelle Woodhouse sent a statement saying that a member of the NC congressional delegation would call Ukrainian President Zelensky a thug and Ukraine's government incredibly evil last Sunday at a town hall meeting in Asheville is an out-of-touch borscht politician. I agree with President Trump that Zelensky is a hero. Senator Tom Tillis tweeted, Putin's deranged propaganda revolves around convincing the world that President Zelensky is a thug and the Ukrainian government is evil. Thankfully, the vast majority of Americans and nearly every single member of Congress are united in support of Ukraine's fight for freedom. Reaction tonight to Congressman Madison Cawthorn's controversial comments about Ukraine and its president. And it happened Sunday at an event in Asheville, and now the video of that moment is getting a lot of attention. News 13's Samir Nefsi was in Polk County tonight, where the congressman had more to say about the situation in Ukraine. This video from a News 13 source shows Cawthorn denouncing Ukrainian President Zelensky at an event in Asheville on Sunday. We send Stinger missiles over to them so they can defend themselves better, but remember that Zelensky is a thug. 
Remember, the Ukrainian government is incredibly corrupt and it is incredibly evil and it has been pushing woke ideologies and it really does the new woke world. Thursday, the congressman tweeted propaganda is being used to entice America into another war. Further writing, I do not want Americans dying because emotions pushed us into a conflict. Now we reached out to the congressman's office to ask what propaganda he was referring to. The response, this statement. The congressman was expressing his displeasure at how foreign leaders, including Zelensky, had recently used false propaganda to entice America into becoming involved in an overseas conflict. He supports Ukraine and the Ukrainian president's effort to defend their country against Russian aggression, but does not want America drawn into another conflict through emotional manipulation. Now we press Cawthorn's team about the propaganda reference. A spokesperson cited the blog Contra, which posted a far right-wing article that claims Ukrainian leaders have pushed propaganda about the war to create emotional backing for the people of Ukraine. I actually agree with him because I feel like he is truly for what people believe and what people want. People are tired of the backdoor um, shady deals and trying to push, you know, agendas. That's strong words to say about somebody who's fearlessly fighting for their country against an autocrat such as Putin. And it's really embarrassing to have those words in the party. And ultimately, it's just, that's not Western North Carolina values. I know many people in the military who would be very disappointed to hear what he said tonight. Around 6 p.m. Thursday, Congressman Madison Cawthorn arrived at the Polk County GOP headquarters. We were told by the Polk County GOP president, Cawthorn's office asked that News 13 not be there. A News 13 source sent us this video from inside the meeting. And I don't believe that we should get involved in Ukraine. I, I, I think we should completely flood the zone with Stinger missiles. Let's allow those civilians to be able to have surface to air missile capabilities so they can shoot down Russian jets. Uh, let's allow them to be able to defend themselves. But sending American troops over there or instituting a no-fly zone, which is, which is an act of war, uh, it is a way that we just get involved in another 20-year conflict. As the congressman entered and left the event, I asked for a comment and did not reply. A local corporation with family ties to Ukraine is doing what it can to support those in crisis. News 13's Kristen Aguirre met with them to learn why this means so much to the family. That family collecting these donations in an effort to support those trying to survive right now in a war zone. For me, I can't even, I try to imagine and I just, I don't know, I don't know how to put it into words or emotions or feelings. Well, Alina Shedko does know is action. Just three days ago, she posted a flyer on social media asking for donations for Ukraine. Sending money over doesn't really just cut it. They can't even get it out in some places, you know, and so um, this is just a little piece that we can offer. Now she has nearly a dozen boxes filled with food, diapers, hats, non-perishable items, the basics to live on. It feels wrong to like get dressed and wash your face because you know that, that this is what we have and how we take it almost for granted whenever you're not in that situation. It feels almost guilty. <laughs> Especially since Lena still has family in Ukraine. It's a pain, deep pain inside. It's hard to imagine that in 2021, 21st century, we're watching uh, the disaster and the war crime against the humanity. Lena's father, Alex Kolchak, president of Alltech Echo Corporation in Arden, came to the U.S. from Ukraine nearly 30 years ago. I feel it like I am currently there. Just, just you know, this pain inside. It's hard to explain. Because part of him is still there. His father and sister living in the western part of the country. We are far away from the war zone. It's not a conflict. It's a war. Alex and his family doing what they can to support their countrymen. The, big baby items, big items. the family thankful to their local community for these donations. It is amazing how a uh, local community responded to the request yeah. uh, for, for help. According to the Associated Press, since the initial invasion, the Ukrainian embassy in Washington has had at least 6,000 people asking about volunteering for service. These donations will ship to New Jersey, then Poland, and then Ukraine. This is a way that we can all offer help from where we are. If you'd like to donate, visit our website at WLOS.com.